Welcome back beautiful people to episode 17 of the Satisfactory Playthrough series. We got a lot done in the last episode towards getting coal power and I'm really looking forward to that because we get to replace all of these biomass generators that are pain in the butt since we have to manually feed in biomass. This power, once it's up and running, should be fully automated because coal is going to be mined and fed directly into it. Uh, we also set up a water extractor. Somewhere out there, there's a pool of water, and we're going to bring that into the generator because it does require both water and coal. So that's what we started last episode. We made this foundation. And this is going to be the power building. So we may have three or four of these set up here I don't know what it's gonna look like yet but hopefully we will be fully coal powered by the end of this episode or in the next episode for sure we're gonna tap into the coal power at least with one generator this episode so with that let's get started and really quickly guys if you do enjoy this episode make sure to smash that like button because it does help me a ton and I love making these videos um, but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think of the playthrough series in each episode and make sure you just uh, you know help me grow it if you do enjoy it by pressing that like button and subscribing if you uh, want to support me and get notified for every video that comes out. Since we have the means to do it, I'm just going to set up a few here because also it looks cool. Okay, now let's go route that coal. These things are giant. slug so our water generator is somewhere over there oh it's up over that cliff we need to make a beacon and set it over there so that we know the exact location I have yet to actually set up a beacon I've never set one up so we're just gonna route this with mk1 for now and then eventually uh, eventually we will switch over to the mk2 as needed so let's get this up the hill This is going to take a lot of plating. Where are you? Leave me alone. We're just going to take both of these far down. All the way down to the coal generators. We'll put this on the corner here. We're going to remove this last row and make some ramps so we can get the power right up there. What? Okay. Um, let's see, we may need 
We actually don't know what the throughput is going to be yet. Well, clearly the coal is going to come in at 60. And I'm just not sure. Let's just hook it up for now. Because, yeah, it really doesn't tell me how much coal it's going to be using up. But, um, actually, is I don't even know if the coal's running. Let's go check on it. But yeah, it should be coming down this line at 60, because this is the MK1. Oh no, I don't see it moving. I mean, it should be. We hooked up the miner to power. And the belt is running. Maybe it just has to travel really far. Nope. There's nothing coming out of there. Why is it idle? Oh wait, we never hooked it up. I'm an idiot. We never hooked it up to power. We put that last, yeah, we put that last pole on the corner of the foundation, but we didn't hook it up. So just like in Factorial, running on these belts is faster because it combines your running speed with the speed of the belt. It's running, it's much faster than running on the ground. Okay, so I thought that miner had already been hooked up, but apparently it wasn't. And so for now, we're going to have to go hook it on to that power line. And hopefully our coal is now running. Can't tell from here, but we're going to go, we're going to assume it's running and let's make a beacon really quick take that over to the water pond just want one eh, I guess we can have multiple maybe the quicker way would be up here I think as far as the piping goes I am gonna want to run it down that way is there a way to drop the piping off the cliff, actually? Fluid buffer can contain. Pipeline junction. What is this? Can be attached to a pipe. Apply lift. Aha! The height of this can be adjusted. So that might be the play there, if we want to just drop the pipe off the cliff. There's our little baby. So let's place a beacon. Configure beacon, eh? Water extractor. <laughs> let's make that baby red. Oh yeah. Red. Ooh. There it is. Beauty. Okay. Now. This, I wish you could rotate this thing without like having to dismantle it. Um, all right, I'm gonna put that there and hook that back up to power. Now we're gonna run some piping. Oh, there it is. Uh, there it is. Uh, I'm gonna bring that up and over.
Now this is the tricky part. Let's see if we can get this set up so we can bring the water down the cliff. Maybe we'll place it on this hill. And uh, let's see if we can get the pipe all the way over there. What am I doing? Oh, we can. Yes, sir. Now, how do you check the flow? Okay, okay, it's building up. It's not great. 23. 26, 29, this is full, so it's slowly filling, guess we're going to have to add a pump somewhere, Now, how do I... Can be attached to a pipeline to apply a head lift. Maximum head lift is 20 meters. Allows fluid to be transported 20 meters upwards. No, it has an in and output direction. Head lift does not stack, so space between pumps is recommended. How do I know where I need to place it? I guess let's put it there. So that should allow me to drive, but how do I know how it says it can provide lift upwards to 20 meters. What I just do. Um, but I don't know if this is 20 meters. Well, we'll see if we need a... Okay, now this thing's going. Cool. Looks like our pipe is working. We're gonna try to run down this. Woohoo! Alright. And now we can route this baby out here. Um, hmm. I know we're going to need to, whoops, we're going to need to use this space eventually, um, but we'll worry about relaying that stuff out later because this is kind of encroaching on the space elevator. But we'll worry about that later. I just want to get coal power. <laughs> and maybe these things should be turned around. I don't know. Or maybe the pipe really should be going around. Let's just do this for now. Toxic fumes. Oh, the water's already going. Now, let's go ahead and add, just tap that into the existing network and see what that does. <gasps> 340 to 415. So yeah, instantly got 75. And look how slowly it uses up the coal. So let's let's see. It's one coal every 4 seconds. So let's get our trusty calculator out. 
That's 15 per minute. So it's using 15 coal per minute. That's not a lot. That's not a lot at all. Because this thing should be supplying 60 per minute. So this one line could power four of these if we can get the water situation set up. That is amazing. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Might as well. Uh, and we're going to split this line down here somewhere. So we're going to split into two. What we'll do is we'll split into two, which will then split into two again, and that will give us four. Can't tell what's straight. There's also no way of like lining this up. Or maybe we just do that up here. Don't like it. Let's try that again. I don't really know how to get this in the middle other than eyeballing it. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll do the same over here. Now we have to figure out the pipe situation. Junction. Okay, cool. So that's how we're going to split the pipe. And we can do it. How do we want to do it? I think we'll route the pipes underneath maybe. Let's put one junction here. Maybe relay this out. Keep hitting tab on accident. kind of don't want the piping to I think there's a better way to do this. I don't want the piping to like block the ramps. So we're going to lay out some more foundation here. 
and then repipe. Why do I hit tab? And then have that come up here. I think. And then we'll create junctions. How do I move something to... I wish I could like drag this to the shortcut. We're just gonna do this the ugly way for now. Just eyeballing it really as far as how things line up whoops clearly they're not very lined up <laughs> go folks let's check out the water here oh yeah we have plenty of water ah we need to connect all of these to some power lines so let's make a whoa I did my second button change what see there is a way to change your shortcuts oh I see oh interesting but how do I get my second this used to be wiring or cabling How do I get this back on my shortcut bar? What the hell? Mm. I have no idea how to reassign things to the bar. Uh, I need to Google this real quick. Okay, I accidentally stopped recording for a bit. Uh, I had paused it and then forgot to restart it. So uh, what I'm doing right now is relaying out the pipeline so that I could get it closer to um, closer to this pipe here because before it wouldn't reach and now it does. Okay, cool. I'm going to try to make this jump without dying. Holy shit, I did it. That's how you do it, folks. Um, and we're going to want to turn this and route it towards this poisonous area over here. And 
actually we're gonna we want these things to be elevated pretty high so that they don't really encroach um, on our paths here otherwise it would be really annoying to get around see it okay that is so much better uh, and we're, we're gonna need to go set up the pump as well since um, this probably doesn't have enough flow hey I'll be right there Alright, so I just want to set up a couple of pumps, make sure we have enough flow. This is seriously like the longest way to get around here. We need another lookout tower because that's ridiculous. This should allow us to go all the way to the top. Perfect. And we're going to need to install some pumps. Um, probably right at the base here. And we'll hook that up to power. Uh, no power. Oh, no. That's tricky, isn't it? That's really tricky. So, we don't have enough power. But we took all our biomass burners, the extra ones, down. So I'm not sure how we're going to be able to do this. I think we're going to have to use our power shards here. Luckily we have plenty of extras. Let's see if that's enough. Nope. Now we'll see if that's enough. And it's still not enough. We get a massive power spike. So we're gonna have to build some extra biomass burners again. That is unfortunate. But once we have the power up and running, I mean, once we have the the water, the pump actually pushing. Wow, it's still not enough. How'd our capacity go down, though? That doesn't quite make sense. So 
so to jumpstart this, it's really tricky because the coal requires. the water and if it doesn't have the water it can't produce any power okay there that's enough now I'm just going to fill this up. And we're going to go check this power, this uh, water level now. There's still not enough, but uh, I'm going to pause there. All right, so that's going to do it for today's episode. I had to wrap things up because uh, I needed to go somewhere. But just to recap, we did end up getting all four coal generators online. I just rerouted the pipeline here to make it a little more out of the way. And so that freed up this area here. I did want to clear out those biomass generators or biomass burners so that we can build a nice facility here to um, to get the assemblers going for the space elevator. Problem is, uh, when I hooked up the the water, sorry, when I disconnected the water, um, of course, all of the coal generators went down. They went offline. And there was actually no way to then power back up the water extractor to supply water to the generator. So that's kind of something that's like a little tricky. Um, I think next time what I'm going to do is actually set up a dedicated biomass burner as a backup. So if the system goes down and, you know, I've already gotten rid of all these biomass burners, I can just set up, have one biomass burner uh, supplying its own power to this um water extractor and that'll be the backup power to so that i can get all of those generators back online that's going to be our backup source so i think that's a pretty good idea i'm excited to implement it and uh that's going to do it for today's episode so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did smash that like button because it helps out my channel a lot and thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and i hope to see you in the next one peace